न्यूज व्यूज वॉइसेस ऑफ द ग्लोबल इंडियन कम्युनिटी इंडिया अब्रॉड द मैसेज टू द वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम भारत इज दैट इंडिया हैज डेवलप्ड ए स्पिरिचुअल सेंस after a great deal of rigorous intellectual debate and thinking the upanishadic thoughts are distilled ideas which has the potential to influence and benefit the whole world just like you see i've heard western scholars say that we have developed the system of democracy human rights women's rights and liberty and this should be spread all over the world in the same way the upanishads the bhagavad gita the shrimad bhagavatam has developed a system of understanding about the meaning of life humanity how human society should be organized while we have material prosperity it's not that you cannot have material prosperity it's not that you cannot have technological advances you can have all of those but there is something there is an internal growth that is possible with spiritual culture spiritual education and that will make somebody very truly happy and increase the positivity in the world and that important message it is the duty of every indian to understand this and perfect this and share this with the rest of the world this is the most important thing shila prabhupad is the founder of iska he used to give the message that india may have you know so many limitations west may have lot of affluence but west is blind india has sight has vision so western prosperity and indian vision should combine for global well being so that was the important message and he wanted to give this and take this message all over the world so the message the ancient indian philosophical message very carefully understood very critically examined by various sampradayas in our country there are many acharyas who all of them went into the depth of all of this knowledge and then finally shri chaitanya mahaprabhu synthesized all of this into one harmonious understanding and that beautiful harmony of understanding was presented in english language for global reception by shila prabhupada he toiled very hard to establish this to present this knowledge he would sit up all night he was septuagenarian 70 plus and he would sleep he would rise by 12 midnight and s- stay up up to 5 am writing these books and he wrote 70 books in english language presenting that vedanta message the gita message the upanishads message the bhagavatam message so uh his message and his life is a beacon of hope for humanity so we want this to be shared with the world and the great work of shila prabhupad which is not properly understood and appreciated by the world and uh, prabhupad found america to be the fertile ground for new ideas and the uh, and the generosity and the uh, and the freedom and the open mindedness that shila prabhupad found in america was very very welcoming for him because it was stifling back in the 70s in india he could not do well and so he was very very grateful to america 
and he wanted to give this important knowledge to the leaders of our of america and so in september we are having an opportunity we have uh, a, a modern historian has written about shrida prabhupada uh, so far his biographies his works were written by iskan devotees for iskan readers iskan devo by iskan devotees for iskan devotees now a critically examined uh, a scholar a scholar from colombia a scholar from geneva school of diplomacy an indian origin of indian origin dr hindol sen gupta he has written a book on the life of shila prabhupada and his message and uh, we are having a launch and discussion of that book and dr hindol himself will also be here and uh, we are planning to curate a program in a few places in in a few cities so that we can discuss the book the life and the message of shila prabhupada for global well being so that one of the events will be in the congress in uh, uh, september another event is going to be in columbia university another third one is going to be in the west coast in stanford university these are the three programs that have been conceived right now